All right, to testify or not to testify, big question, right? And it's one of the most difficult decisions defendants and their attorneys face in a criminal trial. Ben Jordan goes in depth on the risks and the benefits. A Rittenhouse trial expert says in most cases, criminal defendants do not take the witness stand because the risk often outweighs the reward. But in cases where the defendant is making a self-defense claim, it can be pivotal in convincing the jury of their innocence. In every criminal trial, the defendant has a constitutional right to testify or remain silent. Today, Kyle Rittenhouse took the witness stand to make his self-defense claim in front of a jury that will ultimately decide his fate. You intended to kill him, correct? I didn't intend to kill him. I intended to stop the person who was attacking me and trying to steal my gun. Patrick Cafferty is a criminal defense attorney in Racine. He says defendants face several risks by taking the stand. I think it's such a difficult decision for defense lawyers because many of us have seen it go south. Cafferty says the biggest consideration is it opens the door for cross-examination by prosecutors. If the defendant has a prior criminal record, that could be used to question their truthfulness. Cafferty believes a majority of defendants would struggle to remain calm and articulate under intense questioning and stress. Most defense lawyers will try to conduct a defense without using the client on the stand. Uh, with that said, self-defense cases often lend themselves to the need for the defendant to testify because what's so important in a self-defense case is establishing that the defendant believed that he really didn't have a choice other than to use the force that he used. A Cornell Law Review study from a decade ago found that about 77% of defendants who testified were convicted, whereas those who remained silent were found guilty in 72% of trials. High profile cases have offered different results. In 2013, George Zimmerman did not testify when he faced life in prison for the killing of Trayvon Martin. Zimmerman's attorneys made the self-defense claim using other witnesses and he was found not guilty. Former Chicago police officer Jason Van Dyke testified in his murder trial to claim self-defense when he shot a person while on duty in 2014, and he was convicted. Cafferty says Rittenhouse and his attorneys won't know whether they made the right decision until after the verdict is read. If the verdict comes back not guilty, then everybody's going to say, wow, he did the right thing and the jury believed him, and, and away he goes. If he's found guilty, then people may say, eh, he made a tactical error. Reporting in Kenosha, Ben Jordan. TMJ4 News. All right, Ben, thanks. And you can always stay connected online. We will post breaking and continuing coverage through the verdict of this trial on TMJ4.com and the TMJ4 News app.